May the words of my mouth and the meditations of our hearts be acceptable to you, O God, our strength and redeemer. Amen. My hope and prayer is that each of us can say that our Christmas celebration was a good one for us and for all of those around us. My hope and prayer is also that you experience the celebration of our Lord's birth as meaningful and enriching wherever you were at Christmas. Here, we celebrated with great joy at two splendid services where close to 600 parishioners and friends worshiped in the beauty of this sacred place. I believe we gathered, celebrated, and were nourished and fed as beautiful liturgies nourished us that will remain with us throughout the year to come. You can see our celebrations by going to our website, which will also take you to our YouTube channel, and the, both services are there in their entirety. During Advent, we talked about the Advent journey, a typical theme for Advent. And that journey was about preparing for Jesus to be celebrated in terms of his birth, but also when he will come again in glory. For a brief moment in time on Christmas, we paused and were hopefully refreshed as the child in the manger brought life, light, and goodness into the world. Jesus, the very breath of God breathed into the world, was celebrated once again at Christmas. Today we begin a new liturgical season, the season of Epiphany. Today we celebrate the arrival of the wise men, and were they not adorable? who came from the east, as our gospel tells us. They journeyed from afar to see for themselves that which had happened in Bethlehem, the birth of the promised one of ages, the birth of the Messiah. However it happened, their journey is also our journey. Today we celebrate the light of Jesus Christ, a light which burst forth at his birth and the world was changed. After our Christmas celebration, some of us journeyed afar to be with family and friends. I drove some 1,700 miles over the course of about a week to be with family in Philadelphia. Many of you may have also journeyed far. Hopefully we have all been refreshed and renewed in preparation for the year to come. Road trips can give us time to think, time to reflect, time to ponder the mystery of life. My guess is that the wise men, likely Zoroastrian priests from Persia, pondered the mystery of life as they followed a bright star. Our bright star has an LED bulb in it, by the way, which is why it's as blue as it is. At any rate, that light led them to Jesus. They were not Jews, but Gentiles, a symbol that the message of salvation would be brought forth from Jesus to the entire world. On Christmas, I preached that the shepherds would return to their flocks, the wise men and their retinue would return to the east. I said that perhaps their lives were changed forever. As we celebrate the grace of God, the light of God in Jesus, we too can experience life-changing grace. This morning, the powerful prophetic words of Isaiah, one of my favorite passages in all of Scripture, rings in our ears and our hearts. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord is upon you. If we believe that and embrace that, what might that mean for us? What might it mean for us here at St. Mark's? 
Friends in Christ, the mission to which we are called as a community of faith is a powerful one. That mission is not always easy and sometimes not successful. Yet we journey on as disciples of Jesus as best we can. We are called to do all we can to advance his mission here in this place. A commentator recently said that the mission of the church is to make God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit known to the world. In all its facets, the letter to the Ephesians calls believers to a life of love manifested in the welcoming and accepting of all people. In Ephesians, the mystery of God is a clarion call to authentic witness in a world of tragic disconnections and chaos. Yet, we have hope of experiencing harmony among global nations. And the church is indeed the place where we can dream to experience and witness the fullness of God's purpose. Did the wise men experience and witness God's purpose in Bethlehem? Whoever they were, they became authentic witnesses to the birth of Jesus, a birth that would ultimately offer reconciliation and redemption to the world. And are we not called to be authentic witnesses to the message of the gospel that Jesus Christ came into the world for a purpose and as the fullness of God's purpose for all who believe. Today we celebrate Epiphany, a manifestation of light among us. We give thanks that that light has come and the glory of God is all around us, in us, and through us. That light is life-changing if we embrace it and make it our own. We celebrate life, which is why we have candles all over the place today. The light of a star and the light of Jesus, which illuminates our paths. We can see more clearly our spiritual needs and better follow in the footsteps of Jesus. A new year promises a new start. Does it not? Some of us have made resolutions. I have made several and broken at least one already. <laughs> Seriously, yeah. Some of us will work hard to eat more healthy foods. That's the first one that I broke. <laughs> to live a life of better balance between work and play. To be more environmentally conscious to give more freely of the gifts that God has given us, and or to try harder to be more kind, more patient, and more loving. Some of us may have committed ourselves to a deeper spiritual journey in 2019, and I hope and pray that all of us will consider that resolution. If so, what might that resolution look like and what might the result of that commitment be? A commitment to a deeper spiritual life might begin with being more attentive to prayer, more attentive to reading the Holy Scriptures, more, attempting, more attentive to worshiping on a regular basis, and an awareness that we can be more authentic witnesses to the gospel. In that authenticity is embedded a commitment to justice, equality, truth, and love. Our world needs justice, equality, truth, and love. Our world also needs mercy. Many millions of refugees can be found in too many places in the world. They long for a better life, a life of freedom and, fe and, and, and removal of oppression and fear. And can we find it in our hearts to be one with them and all of our sisters and brothers, wherever they may be, who are in need? 
Epiphany is a kind of clarion call for us to embrace the light of Jesus and make the world a better place. Over the next several weeks, we will celebrate light that will that we will pray and that we will embody that light wherever we find ourselves. May God's grace freely given enable us to embrace the light of Christ today. May we take that light into the world so that we and others might find life throughout the year to come. Amen.